To balance this equation, sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid yields sodium chloride plus carbonic acid. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. So I have two sodium atoms, and then we have the CO3. It's called the carbonate ion. I'm going to keep it all together because I have a CO3 here, and on the other side, I also have a CO3. So I'm just going to call this CO3 just one thing. I have one of them. Hydrogens, I have one. Chlorines, I have one. On the product side, I have one sodium, and then I have my one CO3. And then hydrogens, I have two, and chlorines, I just have one. When I look at the equation, why don't we fix the sodiums first? I have two here and one here. If I put a coefficient of two in front of the NaCl, now I have one times two. That gives me two sodium atoms, so the sodium atoms, they're balanced. And let's update the chlorines because the two applies to everything. So one chlorine times two, that gives me two chlorine atoms. And at this point, now the hydrogens and the chlorines, they're not balanced. Why don't we fix that? We'll put a two in front of the HCl. So now I have one chlorine times two. That'll equal two. Chlorines are balanced. One times two for the hydrogens. That gives me two hydrogen atoms. And now everything is balanced. The trick here, I can count these polyatomic ions like CO3 as one item if I have CO3s on both sides of the equation. That really makes this a lot simpler to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2CO3 plus HCl yields NaCl plus H2CO3. And thanks for watching.